Of course. Tell me, what was the experience like competing for Miss Arab USA? It was a lovely experience. I really enjoyed it. It's something I've never thought of doing in my life, but I really like to challenge myself. So I would say it was a really lovely experience and I met incredible people. Yeah, you said this is something you never thought about doing. What made you want to do it? So I have always loved beauty. I've always loved fashion and I've always loved giving back to my community. So this is something that I thought was going to be a great experience for me to just like challenge myself. Mm -hmm. So when I discovered that this beauty pageant was going to be more than just beauty, it's a lot of charity work. I thought that I had to do it and I'm Middle Eastern. So this was a perfect opportunity for me. Yeah. And you said it's more than just beauty. You mentioned the charity work. What other areas were you judged on here? So there was a talent segment where we all, I think every single person person has a hidden talent. So there was a talent segment. There was a um, the beauty pageant itself where we were judged based on our um, clothes, the way we present ourselves and what we can do to give back to our community. Mm -hmm. So a big part of it was actually not during the pageant week. It was six weeks before the pageant week where we had to connect with local businesses and connect with them and fundraise for charity. Awesome. What did you do for hidden talents? Poetry. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. That's cool. Um, how was it preparing? Anything special you did to prepare for this? So, yeah. So for me to prepare, I worked with local um, businesses to help connect and fundraise for the charities that I mentioned. Um, so it was really nice for me to be able to build long term relationships with these businesses. So that was a great way for me to you know, start my uh, my career in, in this. Yeah. How did it feel for you just being a part of this? Were you nervous? Were you excited? I was very, very nervous, mm -hmm. but it was like once I was finally on stage, it was like this is my time to shine. Mm -hmm. And I just had this in my mindset where I'm like, I'm going to go out there and do my best. Yeah. And you clearly obviously shine. You took home the crown. What was it like the moment they said your name and placed that crown onto your head? It was very, very relieving. I was I couldn't believe it, but it was one of the best feelings I've experienced in my life. Yeah. And have you always been into pageants or aspired to do pageants? I've never done it in my life. And this is something that is very new for me. But I highly recommend every woman to go out there and do something like this at least once in her life. I think it's an incredible opportunity. Wow. So first pageant and you win <laughs> <laughs> Miss Arab USA 2024. Yes. That is impressive. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Now let's talk about your life outside of the pageant life. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Some of the things you enjoy. So I do social media. I do content creation. So I love working with local businesses. That was a huge part for me before the pageant. And I built some long term relationships with these people. So aside from all of working with um, these businesses, it's really important for me to connect with charities. And this is something that is really big in Miss Arab USA is to help people and give back to the community as much as we can. It's more than just beauty. Yes, we love that. We love the emphasis on that. Also saw that you graduated from MSU when yes. you like to travel. Uh, tell us all about that. Yeah, so go green. Um, <laughs> so in college, I studied abroad and this was what started my obsession with traveling. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I have a life goal where I told myself that I'm going to visit all seven continents and I only oh. have two more. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I love that. I need to make yeah. that a goal of mine. Yeah. That is, I love that so much. Uh, this competition took place in Arizona. Correct. So yes. what was it like there? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hot, um, but it was lovely. It was very nice. I like the dry heat. Yes, the dry heat. Uh, sometimes it gets a little cooler here in Michigan. Right yeah. now, I feel like everyone is experiencing uh, that heat. So you've been crowned Miss Arab USA. What is next for you? What are your future plans and goals? So we have a very busy year ahead of us. And I do know that there is so much that we have planned. But something that is set in stone for me is um, the end of August is when we're going to start. I'm going to be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, okay. and we will be visiting um, this fundraiser alongside with the American Cancer Society, as well as visiting some refugee centers, some um, some homeless shelters, mm -hmm. I believe, and some orphanages, as well as a children's hospital. Wow. So it's going to be like a week long trip, but we're going to be doing a lot to give back to the community. And that's just the start. Love that. Are there any more pageants in your future? Um, if there are, I would love to be a part of it, but this was incredible. I, I don't think it's going to end here, so okay. I, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, and we will, of course, keep rooting for you. Where can people keep up with you and follow your journey? Thank you so much. I appreciate that.
Where can they keep up with you and follow your journey? On Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, what's your mention, your tag, your handle? Zenobia Jafar, and that's across all platforms. All right. Well, we will be following you, and uh, good luck on all of your future endeavors. Zenobia Jafar, Miss Arab USA, congratulations once again, and thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.